I love this too. The word of God we just read says, it is from of old. That's a set of words you might have just got right on by. Do you know what it means? It means God's love and mercy for you has always existed and will always exist, no matter what. No matter what, that song that we sang. He loved you and had mercy for you from eternity past. So, you have to come to some logical conclusions about this. If that's true, if he loved me before anything even happened, then how can I believe that just because something happened that all of a sudden my warranty is void and now I'm disqualified from his love? How now could grace all of a sudden no longer be available? And so promise too is God is compassionate. Whoever trusts God will not be disqualified. You will not be disqualified. That's why David says, hey, Father, don't remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. Translation there is, Father, forgive me for my sins yesterday and the ones I'm probably committing right now. We can ask that of him for his namesake, David says. For your namesake. He says, for your goodness, O Lord. I find that to be powerful because what David is essentially saying is because I can trust in your desire to save me. I can trust in your desire, God, to actually save me. David believes, and what he wants you to me to believe is God is consistent in his promises. That our failures are not greater than his mercy, and they can never be. If you are not qualified to save yourself on your own good work, then why would you and I ever believe the lie that sin somehow disqualifies us from his love and mercy now? 